Good morning, everybody. I am here to give you my Friday update. It's going to be pretty quick. Again, I can't share a whole lot because most of what I'm making is for next month when I participate with Christy with the 30 Days of Sketches. But this one was released um, this week. This is a um, picture of my mom celebrating her 79th birthday. Um, this was back in March, and I did this layout to help celebrate Becky Bach. Um, she's with Becky's My Creative Life. She was celebrating her birthday and did a birthday hop. So if you haven't had a chance, check out my video, and then in the links in my video is all the links to everyone else who helped celebrate Becky's birthday with their layouts. Now the other thing I did this week, which just came up a couple days ago, I did a quick uh, page in my documenting COVID-19 traveler's notebook. So this page here is what I did and it's just talking about how everybody um, back in the beginning was decorating their windows in support of all the essential workers with their hearts and the rainbows. And it was also just right now we're in a very turbulent time in our nation and in the world and it was just a nice way to show love and, um, you know, it was brought people together and I don't think we have enough of that going on right now. So I just wanted to show that um, page and show how we were all supporting everyone back in March. And rem again, remembering the good stuff. Now, today on my channel, and I'm kind of covering a few things up here. Um, I have my Christmas in December, so make sure you check that out. And again, in my video will be links to everybody else who's playing along, including Moira and Christy. And so this month I'm playing with my Cricut a little bit more and I'm using the print and cut feature on my Cricut. Now I used my Cricut and cut things out with that, but you can also just use good quality cardstock I have mine, which is from Printworks. It's an 80 pound report cover cardstock that was recommended by Tracy Reed when I took the Scrap Smarter class and I really enjoyed it and loved the tips she gave. But these were made just printing with a regular cheap HP printer on that cardstock. And then I just matted them on some really um, thin plaid paper I got at Hobby Lobby and some white cardstock, and then I even printed the inside, you know, just saying, wishing you a truckload of joy this holiday season. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Very simple, and was able to get more of that ribbon onto another project, which I'm happily doing on more and more layouts. Even my layout of my mom, I got some ribbon on. So I'm not doing it in huge quantities, but here and there, I'm adding it in like I was... I don't always put wood veneer on a layout. I don't always put enamel dots on a layout, but they're in my regular rotation of embellishments that I use. Back before washi tape, I always had ribbon on every layout or most layouts. It kind of got pushed to the side because of washi tape. I'm now trying to bring it back into the rotation of my other embellishments and not have it neglected off into the corner. And I think that's part of this front spending freeze thought process is looking at things that we used before, but for some reason we stopped using buttons, ribbon. I know a lot of people use sequins. I use it here and there. So it's just remembering that as you're making layouts, just kind of rotate some of those other products in. We call them older and they're older because we've had them probably longer but they're not anything, there's nothing wrong with using a button on a layout. There's nothing wrong with using ribbon on a layout just because we did that technique 10, 15 years ago. And again, we have it in our stash, rotated in. Making those little um, ribbon bundles that I saw Janet with RTS do and putting them in my color drawers to where they were up front and center where I could see them and remember them has made it a game changer for me. Now you've got to find what technique works for you and what makes something a game changer. 
I have my Cricut right in front of me. I'm trying to incorporate that more into my, my everyday. So that brings me to my next part of my freeze, which is, um, hang on one second. Sorry about that. Um, the next part is to show you I did spend this month, but there was, or this week, but there was a purpose to why I spent. So to start with, I went back into a class that I bought from Nicole Jones, and it was um, your, um, it was the um, Scrapathon 4. And she was just starting to do her digital elements, and she gave everybody free that was in that class these viewfinders. And she had them in certain colors, and you could just punch them out. I think these are like a one and three quarters inch circle punch. Or if you didn't have that, you could just use good old scissors and cut around it. She had such a good reaction to these, she's now made them in other colors. She's made them in other sizes, and she now is selling them at her store, and I want to say they're a really reasonable price. I haven't had a chance to buy them yet, but she has tags and cameras and viewfinders and Polaroids, and she has a COVID-19 little set. So her son is um, was an art student. She's cooperating. Um, collaborating with him he's doing the art she's promoting it and they're having a um, selling it on her site check it out it's a good investment again you don't have to have the quality printer like Tracy said you have to have good quality card stock so that got me thinking about again my tools these here these two are from the Vicki Booten Let's Wander die cut collection. Okay. These others I printed on my printer this week. Not really much difference. The colors are the same. The quality is the same. Big, thick quality. Good pictures. You can't tell that one was printed on a home printer and one was purchased. If you go to American Crafts, their digital die cut page, every collection that they sell under the American Crafts window, most has a digital collection of the same thing. You can buy paper. So if you have the 12 by 12 format printer and you wanna go ahead and print a 12 by 12 piece of paper, you can do that by buying their stuff. I don't have a 12 by 12 printer. Again, I just have a, a cheap HP printer I bought for under $50 at Walmart. It's an all-in-one printer. But I did go and buy the digital elements to try it out. There's, for the Let's Wander, there is six different element packs. They're $2.99 each. I bought all six. So far, I've only gone through two of the six element packs so far, just looking. And the second one, I only went partway through. There is 60 elements in the first one alone. So if you look at, I spent $17, $18 for the six element kits. I have, if there's 60 in each of those elements, and that included words, vines, die cuts, you name it, I can print these over and over and over and over again, and I now own the digital dies, and I can cut and use what I want. So if I don't like butterflies, I don't have to have butterflies. If I don't like luggage that's the size of a journaling card, I can make my luggage smaller. So you can then control the size you can control how many. I love butterflies. I made four. I love um, the florals. I cut a bunch of these out. So I did it mainly for a test, and I'm not going to hold off. 
on buying more just because, again, I'm on a spending freeze and i got to use what I've got. But I bought this travel set because I'm working on my South Dakota album, so it makes sense for me to have travel-themed elements. So for me, it works. But for somebody who goes to like Tuesday morning and you go and you buy that paper pad, but you can't find any embellishments for it, and you or you've had one in your stash for a long time, check out the digital elements. Again, get good quality paper. You can print them on your home printer. If you don't have a Cricut to die cut them out, and with my Cricut it was using the um, print and cut feature, and I'm sure Silhouette does the same thing, you can go ahead and just use your good old scissors and cut and fussy cut around the edges. So I just wanted to show everybody this. Again, it was a spend, but it was more of an experiment spend, um, not necessarily a going out and having a bad day and deciding that I needed to go blow some money to make myself feel better. This is actually was to try and help me scrap smarter. So that is it for today. I um, We'll be back again next Friday with another freeze, and we'll be using some of this stuff up. And yeah, that's all I have to say. If you have any questions, leave them in the description box below, and we will see you again um, probably this weekend with another layout um, to share from my South Dakota album. Thanks, and have a great day.